Hey guys, I'm back. So it's a quick video and uh, it was not planned at all. I thought I'll just quickly share it with you as I'm getting ready for my day. So I've not been keeping well today. So I did not go to work and I did not uh, dress up really well today. But I because I have to go out and I do not want to go out with such a dull face. So I thought why not share with you guys quickly what I do to step out if I have to you know, if I don't have much time to do all the makeup. So yeah, um, as you can see, I already have my foundation mixed on my palette, which is my hand. So yeah, I have my foundation already ready with me. I have, uh, this was a little thick, um, a little mattifying. So I've uh, mixed it with uh, this particular oil. Oh shit, where did I keep the oil? Just give me one minute, please. I'm so sorry. So I've already mixed it with uh, my Avon Nutra Effect Active Seed Complex Miracle Glow Lightweight Facial Oil. This is what I've mixed my foundation with uh, because this, it's going to make my foundation a little bit lighter. Also um, in texture and also it uh, will give a nice sheen to my face. So let's just quickly, I've already mixed my foundation with the uh, oil. So now let's just quickly get started. I'm going to spread this particular... Um, foundation on my neck and across my face the remaining I'm going to just quickly wipe off on my blender and now I'm blending it blending seems like a very tedious task but believe me once you get used to it nothing like it I hope you guys can see how this works. So, because my um, ear will be exposed, so I make sure that I have my foundation on my ears as well. Because it doesn't look good, you know, that you'll feel as if you're an alien. And your skin has different colors, although it does, but still. Why to show it? I hope you guys can see what's happening. And I'm extremely sorry for the lighting. Okay, I uh, do not... I prefer to apply foundation a little bit on my outer line of the, um, on the, of the lips because I feel it... Uh, once you apply a lipstick it does not look like you have a section of um, um, foundation not been applied on a particular area, a section been left out. So yeah, I like to blend my foundation really, really, really well. Because if you don't blend your foundation, it does not, uh, first of all, it doesn't look good. Second, it also makes, um, you know, the foundation cakey very easily. So I really like to focus on blending because I think that's the only thing that should take time. So yeah, let me just quickly blend it. My neck, below my neck, a little on my ear. Because this entire canvas should look like a say one canvas, not two different layers or two different canvas. So yeah, I think I've uh, decently blended out my foundation. As you guys can see, I'm pretty sure you're not able to understand if I have. I have a few pimple coming up here. I don't know why. And this doesn't seem to go away. To be honest. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty much done with my foundation. Let's just quickly skip to compacts. I like I do not really prefer using a translucent powder on a daily basis because you know every time I use a translucent powder, it just fly away. There's something seriously wrong with my English today. I don't know why. So yeah, let's just quickly go ahead and uh, I'm going to uh, let's say mattify a little bit or set my makeup a little bit. I'm using this particular brush. As you can see, I've already applied a little bit of powder. This is uh, my foundation, which is faces. Oh, I can see my face on the faces compact. So yeah, that's how it goes. I'm going to quickly swirl 
my brush, take off the excess and then with this I like to focus on my eyes much more because I think if I don't set this well my eyeliner or my kajal it creases away a lot so I don't like that again going to swirl this tap the excess and yeah take the remaining on my cheeks I have a very oily t-zone so I prefer applying this on my near my nose okay and now with no product remaining I let me just quickly blend this in with a light hand of course you don't want to move your foundation anywhere perfect and then don't forget your neck that's a very important step I feel that uh, if you don't apply a compact on your neck, you know, your face looks like, you know, it, it much in a much better place and doesn't look good. So your face is prim and proper and your neck seems a little bit dull. So I think if you're, if you're actually applying powder or compact on your face, it's very important you apply it on your neck as well. So yeah. Coming back to the next thing which is very important in my life, my kajal. I prefer using this kajal which is Lotus Eco Stay. I, I hope you guys can see. Perfect. So yeah, that's my kajal and I do not go um, really fancy with this. I'll just quickly apply my kajal. I like uh, my kajal to be a little bit thick. The only issue I face with these kajal is because you have to sharpen it every time. Mm -mm. This is a very, very quick video that I've made in my entire life. And I think this videos, this kind of videos, they really work for me. Somehow I, I, I feel they work really well. So yeah, I think my um, eyes are done. I'm not going to apply any sort of eyeshadow on my face. Um, because I, I do not really like applying eyeshadow specifically for my eyes if I'm um, going on a regular day out. So I don't really like that. Uh, my mascara is left. I'll be doing that later. Let me quickly just brush my eyebrows. I have to get my eyebrows done, by the way. But I'll get them done. I have to attend a party tomorrow. So I'm planning I'll get this thing done tomorrow. And I'm pretty decent with that. So let me just quickly outline. As you guys can see, I have a little space spare space here so I'm just quickly going to cover that I already have pretty decent eyebrows so I don't really like to um, you know make them really darker or something I just like to apply this on places where I feel that I need to just cover them up I believe in concealing them rather than uh, makeover Okay. Perfect. So All right, I think I have a little bit more here. So the best part is even if you have something extra done, you can obviously you know, adjust this and brush it off with a spoolie. I think that's the best thing in the world. Spoolie is very important. Let me just quickly comb this eyebrows as well. All right. Okay, so I think my eyebrows are pretty done. Feel good. So let me just quickly apply my moisturizer before I go ahead and apply. And this is a tinted moisturizer, by the way. So my name Bleen. So with this, it actually solves all the purpose. I do not have to apply any sort of special lipstick or something because obviously this is tinted. 
So let me just quickly go ahead and apply my mascara. So this is not a uh, waterproof mascara. So I'm happy the way it works on a regular way. Um, if I don't have to go anywhere out or if I'm let's say just stepping out for a small work like today so I, I prefer applying this because um, you know you don't have to really um, give so much of time to remove this it's not waterproof so it you can easily remove this once you wash your face so yeah this is by essence it's I love extremely mascara it's crazy volume mascara I, it doesn't really give a crazy volume but I think for a regular use it's it's good so let me just quickly swirl and yeah just one quick tip never do this never it just um inputs more air in the mascara and that results in mascara being drying for the future use okay please excuse me i make some serious funny faces while i apply my mascara I feel mascara just changes the entire makeup look. So, can you see the difference in both the eyes? Different. So yeah, let me just quickly do it for the other eye as well. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that I've covered, I guess. Alright. I don't know why my mascara in this eye looks much better than this one. Alright. I look much better. So yeah, just give me one minute. I think I'm almost done with everything. I just have to comb my hair. Let me just quickly go ahead and comb my hair. All right, I like to part this this way. And let me just quickly section this in two different sections. Comb them. So ever since I've actually colored my hair, I don't know why they're being so dry. It's, it's like dry, like a thar desert. Something like that, yeah. It's it's really dry, really, really dry. I've tried so many shampoos. I'm currently using Swarovskoff. Um, I don't know why it doesn't work. Alright, so I'm done with one side. I prefer um, sham not shampooing actually. I prefer combing my hair uh, towards the ends first because I think they... Uh, create much more friction in compared to combing your hair uh, from the roots so yeah I like to just quickly tuck them behind my ear so that I'm done with one side and with the other side as well I like to quickly just create a nice okay I think I'm done with both the sides Mm-hmm. Looks good. All right. So that's all I do if I have to run quickly to a specific place or if I don't have much time to get ready. So that's it, guys. Um, I do not prefer using uh, eyeshadows or blush on a regular basis because I think it's too fancy for uh, everyday use. I am not questioning or doubting or pointing out fingers on anyone who prefers them uh it's person this you know it's their personal choice so i cannot really comment on it but that's something that i don't prefer doing so in case you have any suggestions or you have something that